Hi, my name is Angelica Quintero, better known as Kika. I am half Mexican and half Tindale, as well as a first generation college student of my family, who is currently at the end of my second year here at the U of A. And my native story journey, which stands for Native Student Outreach, Access, and Resiliency, started when I chose to take this class because it gave me a chance to learn more about my Native heritage. Being as how my family and I had moved from a small town called Sanders on the Navajo Reservation to Tucson when I was young had caused a disconnect was in my background. Nonetheless, my mom had always shared glimpses of our Diné culture with my siblings and me, such as the language, folklore, and foods such as fried bread, blue corn mush, and of course potatoes and spam. Growing up, I had always enjoyed these moments, but had felt that there was a gap within my native culture. However, joining the Asura has given me the chance to meet some amazing people, experience new things, and help serve my community. For instance, attending our community trip to the Pascua Yaki Education Center was a great experience for me because it showed a place where indigenous students could be surrounded by an environment that appreciates the importance of their identity by including many traditional teachings like the native alphabet, musical instruments, and much more. This is important because one of the significant problems that Native American students experience in higher education is a lack of culturally relevant curriculum and support systems, causing many Native American students to experience a disconnect between their cultural identity and educational environments, therefore leading to feelings of isolation and lack of academic success. Also considering the unfortunate problem of underrepresentation of indigenous students in higher education is revealed in the recent data that shows that Native Americans represent less than 1% of all students enrolled in college. This shows the importance towards working towards lowering disparities among indigenous communities. However, despite this unfortunate statistic, hearing this had helped me develop a new perspective in the way I thought about my identity and my own college experience as an indigenous student. As mentioned before, adapting to college was a challenge at first as a first generation student, but had also pushed me to show that succeeding in higher education is within reach for others. Given that taking this class has helped me find community within my culture roots and improve my resiliency towards adversity, stepping into another side of my identity has given me the strength to work towards unlocking my potential throughout my college journey. That being said, throughout the semester in Native Soar, I got to learn a lot from our class readings and guest speakers, each one sharing their perspective and shedding light on their academic barriers they came across as Indigenous in higher education, in which Rafael Valori and Mimi Overton, It's About Family, Native American Persistence in Higher Education, mentions that the institutional barriers Indigenous students face are inadequate financial resources and lack of academic preparedness. Similarly, as mentioned in Robin Minthorn's Indigenous Perspective and Native Student Challenges in Higher Education, the idea that the need for resources and support is specifically important for Native American students because we are the least represented group in higher education. This raises the question of what type of resources are given to Native American students to help them succeed. Hearing the stories from Indigenous scholars about the systematic challenges that have impacted us all has helped me connect with others who face similar struggles, as well as inspired me to support change within the community. Just like how the Indigenous scholars have inspired me to motivate and encourage others by mentoring. The impact of this is mentioned by Dr. Heather Shawins, which states, A part of planting those seeds for those who earn an advanced degree or hold faculty positions to become mentors as well as system change. Realizing this gave me an opportunity to plant those seeds for the students at Tucson Magnet High School, where I got a chance of mentoring. At first, stepping into this world was challenged, challenging because it forced me to step out of my comfort zone and to a role as a mentor. However, as time went on, I began to see the important effect of having a mentor had on their lives and led me to overcome these boundaries. Overall, the biggest takeaway I received from my mentoring experience was to see how my encouragement has influenced our mentees in shaping their steps towards success in their journeys, but also influenced the way I viewed my own identity by seeing myself from a different perspective. Nonetheless, I am very grateful for finding a community where 
we can cheer for each other's success. Thank you.